Now, her brief reign is over, but Myanmar's first beauty queen has refused to give back her $100,000 crown, despite being dethroned. Mei Miat No was stripped of her Miss Asia title last week and labelled a liar and a thief by organisers of the event. Jonah Fisher has the story. Congratulations to Miss Myanmar. She is this year's Miss Asia... This was the scene earlier this year as Mei Miat No was crowned Miss Asia Pacific World in the Korean capital, Seoul. During decades of isolation, Myanmar didn't enter this sort of contest. Now, for the first time, it had a winner. It was another small, if rather tacky, step towards Myanmar engaging fully with the wider world. But last week, much to the surprise of her Burmese fans, Mei Miat No was stripped of her title. A stinging statement from the pageant organizers called her a liar and demanded she give back the $100,000 winner's tiara. On their website, her picture was replaced with a black box below the word dethroned. But Mei Miat No still has her crown, and like all the best beauty queens, she's come out fighting. At a packed press conference in Yangon, she gave her explanation as to why she'd been sacked. My decision to return home was which mainly due to the fact that I was put under duress to undergo a head-to-toe plastic surgery, which I refused. She said she'd been made to lie about her age and would only give the crown back if certain conditions were met. And I will return the crown only if they apologize to the country. They apologize to Myanmar. And if the police come after you, will you give it back then? I do not steal the crown. I believe that I have to return the crown to the organization, not to the police. There's been some criticism here in Myanmar from people who regard Mei Miat No's behavior as un-Burmese. But there's also been a lot of support. People pleased at her act of rebellion, at what many people see as the sexist and sordid world of beauty pageants. The organizers of the competition have denied pressuring Mei Miat No to have plastic surgery. They say she was sacked for being unprofessional and was not ready to live the life they had planned for her as an international celebrity. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Yangon.